Part 5. Setting up multiple views in Blender. If you wish to set up multiple viewports, there are a couple of approaches you can take. The first is to press Ctrl-Alt-Q in the viewport, and Blender will switch to its quad view. You can also access this mode by going to View, Area, Toggle Quad View in the viewport's top menu. If you wish to change any of the viewports, press the N key to access the Side Properties tabs if you can't already see it, and go to the View tab. Under the Quad View menu, uncheck Lock Rotation. This will allow you to switch out the different viewports for alternative ones. To use multiple cameras, click and drag the top right-hand corner of the 3D viewport to create a copy of the viewport. Add another camera to the scene. Then, in the new viewport, press the N key to access the right-hand properties tabs if you do not already see it. Select the View tab and check the local camera checkbox. You can then switch this viewport to the other camera by selecting it from the drop-down list. This should provide you with different options for setting up multiple cameras. For the Perspective Plotter add-on, for instance, each properties panel will correspond to the camera you have configured for that 3D viewport. When matching multiple reference images in Perspective Plotter, remember that in Blender, all camera frame borders are set by the scene render resolution's width and height. Matching this width and height to the background image of one camera therefore potentially affects all other cameras in this scene. It is recommended that all reference images have the same aspect ratio when working in this way. We hope you'll find this useful and do let us know if you have any questions by contacting us via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.